the fuck are they, clones? Remember, survival. Low budget filmmaking is somewhat of a competitive gig. There is the pressure to have these movies out quickly, plentifully, and on a low budget. And I've seen plenty of examples of filmmakers just putting out more or less the same movie over and over again. You know, it's a bunch of girls going into a house, being chased by something, the end. And, you know, it's very lazy storytelling, but there are some filmmakers who I think uh, deserve a little bit of credit for trying to push the boundaries, even in a, such a low budget affair, by having some original ideas. Now I want to talk about uh, the writer-director Bruce Wemple, who has directed this movie, Island Escape. Now I have actually reviewed a few of Wemple's movies before. He's tended to do kind of like uh, monster movies, like Wendigo's, Bigfoot style movies. Here he turns to turn into more of a sci-fi style movie, although there is a kind of zombie element in this film. And it is a low budget movie, and we're going to kind of circle back to why I point that out in a little bit. But uh, the the story here initially feels relatively generic. It's a, a, a group of mercenaries are hired to uh, rescue a daughter of someone important from this island where some kind of uh, corporation has been doing illegal experiments. And when they get there, they find lots of bodies. And there may well be these kind of like roided up zombies that are rolling around the island as well. But as the film progresses around the halfway mark, it adds another layer. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I don't want to spoil what arguably is the most original element of this movie. But suffice to say, it's kind of a little bit like a time loop movie, but not exactly. There are other elements and kind of like uh, variations of it, but broadly speaking, there is an element of that kind of time loop, uh, Groundhog Day style kind of uh, um, idea here. But it's, it's done not like those films is the best way I'll describe it. It's the kind of the closest approximation I can kind of give you without really just spoiling the kind of the, uh, the actual kind of plot point. But it is it does take it in an original direction. It isn't just repeating the same day over and over again. Let me just say that. But you're in the ballpark. So now our team of, uh, of mercenaries have to try and escape, avoid this kind of uh, zombie type menace and uh, deal with this kind of like science fiction element to it as well. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss Island Escape. So as I've kind of alluded to already, I think one of the kind of the key factors here is a somewhat of a original style kind of story. Now, like I've said, there are elements here that you've seen before, but I will say there's enough originality here, so I think this, I have to kind of really give plaudits here to Wemple for trying to do a, a kind of a very, very ambitious story here on such a kind of a low budget. Um, and, and, you know, and it's, 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 it's good to see filmmakers still trying to produce a kind of a unique product rather than kind of sitting on their laurels and just, you know, churning out the same movie over and over and over again. There's plenty of filmmakers that do do that. So I applaud Wemple for trying to make a little bit kind of ambitious, a little bit original, but still having these elements that you'll kind of, um, you, that you'll expect from a film like this. Gunfights, you know, monsters, zombies, kind of like action sequences. So, you know, it's a mixture of the new and, uh, and kind of well-worn uh, things you've seen before. Um, <clears throat> what, do I, what else can I say as to what works in this movie? So, you know, it is a low-budget movie, and there is certainly restrictions on this. But I will say I, I liked our cast of characters. We have a relatively small group of uh, mercenaries. I think there's six in total, plus we meet a couple of people on the island. And at least I would say uh, four of the mercenaries you get to know pretty well. And although I don't think the acting is outstanding in any way, um, and then sometimes it's even a little bit kind of on the poorer side, but I think they did a good enough job here of making some likeable characters. And, and one thing I did enjoy was some of the relationships between them. Uh, we get the, the idea here that a couple of the uh, mercenaries may have had a little bit of history. 
and I and I like that it plays out a little differently to the, to the what I was expecting. I actually could have quite liked the kind of the um, the camaraderie to a certain degree uh, between these kind of characters and their kind of interactions and things like that. And you know, some people act shady, but they might not necessarily be shady. Other people might act more kind of benevolent, but they might you know, they might have a little bit more of a uh, their own agenda and things like this. So the, I, I actually quite like some of the the character choices here again that was written in the script here by Wemple and their performances by the kind of the actors to make likable and kind of somewhat kind of intriguing characters. I mean, I won't lie, some of them are a little kind of like cliche and shallow at times. Um, you know, not everyone gets a full kind of, uh, uh, you know, good character, but there you go. You know, there is at least a, a few of that. The movie is relatively kind of action packed. The, again, the budget does restrict this somewhat, but there are, uh, you know, plenty of kind of like shootouts and kind of like fist fights with these kind of like groided up zombies. And it does layer in some interesting kind of uh, science fiction. I mean, let's call it maybe pseudoscience and kind of like uh, jiggery pokery and things like this. I don't really make a lot of sense when you think too much about it. For example, one of the conceits here is that the the older the zombie gets, they get more sort of like roided up and grow, but get kind of dumber. If that makes sense. They become physically more imposing, but they get less intelligent. And the kind of the fresher the zombie, they're the kind of they're uh, they're more human sized, but they retain sort of certain skills. Like someone, one will, for example, will use a knife to fight and things like this. So even some of some of the kind of the more sort of like um, subtler ideas, I think uh, you know are, are interesting here. Um, it has a kind of somewhat Resident Evil feel to it, I have to say, it kind of, you know, it's broadly speaking, it reminds you of that kind of like, you know, the Umbrella Corporation doing kind of dodgy experiments and a group of kind of survivors having to, you know, defend themselves from this kind of infected menace and things like that. So there's, there is certainly a kind of a Resident Evil vibe on display. I have to think, I think the, um, the makeup for the zombies is pretty, pretty effective, uh, um, well, yeah, I mean, the, 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 certainly the kind of like the more overt makeup um, on the face and stuff like that. They look pretty scary, wider eyes and kind of like lumpy heads and stuff. There is one choice for the zombies, which I don't think was particularly strong, but, um, you know, I, the, uh, the makeup side of it certainly I think does work. Uh, but let's maybe transition to what doesn't work, and I'm going to stay with that one point. Uh, the zombies here, the idea being that they kind of like hulk out, essentially. But it basically looks like they've got padding stuffed in their clothes, which is ultimately exactly what they have got. But it looks like padding stuffed in their clothes. It doesn't actually look like they have genuinely kind of more mass. Um, so it looks a little bit silly. The makeup looks fine. I like the makeup, but the actual kind of like the choice here to have these kind of like, uh, you know, probably sock stuff down there, kind of, you know, arms and things like this. It looks a bit silly. Um, maybe there was a better way to do that, but you know, again, it's a low, low budget film. A uh, couple of small things first, uh, before I get into more, any more kind of uh, larger kind of issues. This movie relies a little bit too often on a, a particular kind of um, resolution to a scene. There's quite a few uh, instances here where someone's getting a, a, attacked by a zombie and then someone off screen shoots the zombie in the head and then kind of goes, all right, you know. Saved you and all that. It happens, I'm not kidding you. It's like if you play, want to play a drinking game, you'll be on the floor at the end of this movie because it happens a comical amount of times. Let me just say that to for it to be. I, I sort of like noticed it about, you know, two thirds of the movie in. That surely it's not going to do it anymore. But yes, it does. So yeah, there's the, a small conceit there, but it happens a little bit too often, one would say. Uh, as I've mentioned, the acting is kind of a, um, a, a generally a mixed bag. I thought it was okay for a kind of a low budget movie, but you know, it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's like it's, it's not kind of Oscar worthy at any point. Um, so the two other issues I think are probably the, the bigger issues overall here is uh, one that I would maybe expect maybe more mainstream audiences to, to, to complain about, and that here is the the clear low budget. I mean, everything here is extraordinarily low budget. The um, uh, you know the the kind of like the the, the equipment that these guys have got the kind of like the, the, the uniforms even the kind of the way our characters are portraying soldiers for example um, you know we have people like walking around holding guns kind of like this in front of them and stuff like that and it's like you know you, you know you're not kind of like 
they're holding guns in a kind of a realistic kind of military kind of style way. They kind of got them up this, and the recoil would, would obviously clearly kind of like hit them in the face. It's not everyone doesn't happen all the time, but there's a few, you know, there's a few times where I did notice that. And so again, it's a little bit of kind of like um, the low budget. Maybe they didn't have the time to do many takes and things like this. Uh, so the, the kind of the budget, some of the physical acting is a little on the kind of the weaker side. But yeah, the budget here is I think going to be one of the kind of the main concerns. There's not much in the way of uh, uh, you know set pieces. It's just a lot of people running around in the woods. We don't have to have lots of kind of like sets or kind of like you know location shooting and things like that outside of the woods. Um, I think the movie's relatively kind of well shot apart from some of the action sequences. Now there is a reason why they are trying to hide the action sequences to a certain degree, so I'm not gonna spoil for you, but uh, but we have a lot of kind of tight shots with the, with the fist fights and things. Now, there is a reason for that. They are trying to hide um, certain, certain kind of uh, elements, which I won't spoil for you, but it, it doesn't look particularly good, I have to say. Now I do have to say, I think there was, there was a way around this um, again, I don't want to spoil why, there's, why, there's, why they have made this decision, but essentially it was to hide who's fighting who, is the best way I would describe it. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a little bit too many like close shots of the editing and the kind of the actual kind of choreography looks kind of really kind of clunky, to be honest. Um, so yeah, some of these kind of like the budgetary issues, maybe the kind of the quick shoot shows on film. And the other thing I would say is the science, science fiction ideas here, you know, they're, 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 there's not really any explanation for it. You've just got to accept, oh, yeah, these zombies are, are there. Why? Well, don't know. You know, we're, we're making super soldiers here, and that's kind of all we know. Why are they kind of hulking out over the, you know, over a period of time? Never explained. Why is there this science fiction kind of phenomena that's happening? Again, I want to say, okay, there's a virtually, you know, there's a few things that kind of have to do with that that I won't go into. Just got to accept it. No real explanation, nothing like that, really. Uh, no real kind of e e exploration of that fact other than that it's just there. You know, we don't ever go into a lab and sort of see, have a scene where, you know, we sort of see someone kind of like with research and, and what's the motivation and things like that. Yeah, just got to accept it. And I have to say the actual kind of like the, the concept here, I got to say, gets a little bit convoluted. Um, they don't really introduce that to the, the more overt science fiction ideas until maybe um, just over the halfway mark. And I think it's just a little bit not particularly kind of well crafted on a kind of a narrative level, and I think this gets a little messy and a little con and a junky convoluted as the film kind of goes on. You sort of just think, ah, oh, I don't really get what you know what's going on to a certain degree. Um, you know, at least if you're a more of a casual viewer, I would say. So overall, you know, it's certainly a very ambitious movie, and I really and I, again, I really applaud that because I, I'd like to see these ideas put forward and. Had this had a better budget and more, maybe more time in the shoot, it certainly I think would have uh, ended up with a more, um, you know, polished product at the end of the day. But it is what it is. This is the film that we've got. So this is the film that we have to judge. Uh, but I will give it props for the the originality. Um, although I don't think I can't really say this is an above average film in any way. So I, I would say it's like an average kind of B movie in that respect. It's it's worth watching if you don't mind a rough and ready kind of science fiction horror. So, a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? Would you see it, based on what I've told you? Uh, do let me know in the comments, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.